Hey guys, so we made it to the other hotel around 12 o'clock and then we unloaded both of the cars, but we stopped at Starbucks and I got some Dulce sugar-free from Starbucks. Um, it's the sugar-free syrup and then I also got the vanilla. And then they were actually out of their pumps, so I went to Target, because the lady at Starbucks said, go over to Target, ask them if they have pumps, and so they gave us some pumps for my sugar-free stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, I did like a little coffee bar, not anything like too fancy, since all of my radon is back in storage, but I did do um, my Hello Kitty mug that I had gotten in um, at the Hello Kitty cafe in LA well, at the weekend, at the last weekend, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Um, and Hubby got me all, like all these spoons from there and like some stir sticks. And I haven't really made a coffee bar since we've been back, but this is the the coffee mug and it has like a donut in it. It's so cute. They didn't have the one I wanted. The one I wanted had like a gold handle. It looks so cute, um, but I didn't, they didn't have it. This was the only one they had in stock. And then he, they were also really sweet and let us take some of these hot coffee ones. I think those are so adorable. Um, and then this is the box that the coffee mug actually came in which looks like this. Super cute. I just took it out of its box today because I knew we were gonna move over here so I didn't want to like um, unpack everything. Like all of my Starbucks ceramic tumblers have been wrapped in bubble wrap. I had not unwrapped them, but I'm gonna show you how it looks. So pretty much I would usually have one of those mug tree thingies, um, drying racks with my Radon mugs on it, but since all of my Radon is packed in storage and I am not collecting anymore, this is what I did. Um, this is the hotels, but they provide you with coffee and everything. Hold on. Um, I just have my four, uh, five tumblers there and my syrups, some coffee. This is the Keurig that comes, but it's part of the hotels. So over here, I'm thawing out some meats for the week, for the rest of the week. Um, some franks, some sausages, ground sirloin, and some chorizo. Over here, I have my Mrs. Myers um, a mint scent, hand soap, and multi-surface cleaner. Um, no, I like him. Pretty much it. I've already made the kids bed and there's hubby. Good morning everybody. It's nine o'clock. I have to make my coffee in this cup because none of my cups fit in here. Even if I pull this out it's still it's like a censored type of Keurig um, so it has to be placed on this little thing for some reason. I've tried everything and none of these cups will work. So um, I'm using this one. So I just brew my coffee and then um, I just pour it into one of my Starbucks cups today. I'm using this one. I had my black coffee earlier and right now I'm having a bulletproof coffee. It has my butter in it and um, some heavy cream. And then I'm going to add some of the um, sugar-free vanilla and some cinnamon dulce. I always say that wrong. Alright guys, so this is the frother that I got. It actually um, has some little stencils 
um, which is so cute. We have an espresso, an espresso machine back in our storage um, that we had recently purchased like way before, like right before we started traveling. And it does come with the big frother. It's the Nespresso brand. But I thought this was really cute for like your coffees or whatever. It has like a little cocoa shaker. But I'm probably going to put like um, cinnamon in it. And then you just put this over your cup. And it's got like all these stencils. One says I love you. It's a heart. It's a coffee cup. And then a happy face. But this is the main thing that I really wanted it for. Um, because of my bulletproof coffees. So gonna open that in a second but this is also a mini folding portable rechargeable fan um, I got this for when I do like makeup tutorials or even when I'm doing my makeup um, it'll dry the setting spray um, faster than just fanning yourself so it comes like this and it's really tiny um, Ready. Ready, Maybe it's not. Maybe I need to charge it. I guess this is like the little stand, um, and then you can actually just set it on your desk or your vanity. So it is rechargeable. So I'm going to charge this up, and then um, we'll see how it works. And then let's open the frother. This was only $11.99, you guys, so if you are interested, I'll try and put the link down below. So, the really cool thing is that it comes with a stand, so it's not just laying on your coffee bar. Um, probably need to get batteries. Yeah, I need two AA batteries, so we'll probably get those today, but it's just really cute. It's by the brand, what is it? Silver Fork. So that's super cute. And then this is the little shaker that it came with that I'll probably just put cinnamon in it. I like cinnamon in my coffee. Um, as well just to flavor it up a little bit more so you just put it in there and then this little plastic thing there you go it's just got like that little sifter right there and then this little plastic cover which is really nice so I'm gonna put that right here and then these are the stencils. These, these are so cute. So yeah, you just place it over your cup and then you just sprinkle your stuff on it. I think that's really cute, especially if you're having like morning coffee with like friends, the little brunch, you can make it super cute for everybody. So yeah, I'm gonna place this here as well. And my little stencils I'll just put somewhere I don't know I need to rearrange my little setting over here but I am loving my little setup it's not my radon but it's gonna work for now oh, I did have to charge this it does it's rechargeable which is really nice that's the first setting second setting and that's the third setting love it so you guys, I'm breaking my fast at 20 hours, or a little bit over 20 hours. I'm making just a over easy or fried egg, and then I did a Frank's um, link with a shell, a cheese shell. So that's what I'm gonna break my fast with. I don't like runny yolks, so I like it a little hard. So that's why I'm frying it up really crispy. Hey guys, so it's 6.20. I'm gonna try and make this nail salon. Um, they close at seven, I believe, but I desperately need my nails done. I think I popped them off when we were back in Texas. So it's been over a month that I've had my nails on and I miss them so much.
getting my nails the coffin shape like I always used to before I went with the shorter nails and quite honestly I did like them but um, I did miss the long nails so that is what they look like it's kind of like a like a V at the top of the nail or the bottom of the nail bed um, but they're pretty long and I really love the color that I picked out it is um, gel I believe yeah it is gel so they're gonna last a little bit longer and you guys this place was so reasonable for a full set gel design coffin 40 bucks really I've never paid 40 bucks well the last place was 30 but it was just a square nail and just plain Jane this one was $40 for the whole thing is it just cheaper in California for nails or what because back home it was always expensive anyway I need to get home because hubby's been home with the kids and I'm sure Zoe fell asleep because she didn't get a nap today so I'll see you guys back at the hotel